Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple model of a boat in Blender. So first of all I will start with the Blender cube. I'm going to click on that cube and delete it by pressing the X key. After I delete the cube I'm going to go to add, mesh and choose circle to add a circle. Now I want to view the circle from above so I'll click on the Z uh, axis in order to view the circle from above. Now I'm going to change to edit mode. Now when I'm in edit mode I can click on different dots which make up the circle. I'm going to click only on the bottom dot of the circle. If I press the G key I can move this single dot around but that's not much good because I want to create a smooth hull for the boat so I want to move multiple dots at the same time. I press the escape key and I choose proportional editing which is this icon at the top. That allows me to move multiple dots at the same time so now when I press the G key it will not only move the dot I'm interested in but it will also move the nearby dots a proportional amount. Now I'll press the Z key to keep it lined up, oh sorry not the Z key, the Y key to keep it lined up and I'm going to scroll down on the mouse wheel because as I make this circle bigger it will make the curve smoother. So I pull this out until I get a fairly long front of the speedboat. Okay now I'm going to click on the back of the boat and again I'm going to press G and Y and this time I'm going to make the back of the boat a bit flatter because this is where the motor needs to go. Okay now I've made the outline of my speedboat shape but it's just a 2D shape at the moment so now I need to extend it into 3D. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off proportional editing so I click on this icon again so that it's turned off now. Now I press the A key to select everything on my boat and I press the E key to extend the shape that I've got into 3D. Now it will wobble about a bit so press the Z key to keep it straight. Now I'll move it down just a little bit like that so that I've made a strip. And then I'm going to move the mouse away from the center of the screen so that I have good control and I'll press the S key and just slightly move in the side so that they're angled a little bit. Now we repeat the process again so I press E and Z pull down the sides of the boat. Press click and then press S move in the sides of the boat. E, Z move down the sides of the boat. Click, press S move in the sides of the boat and then click E, Z, move the sides of the boat down, click, press S, move the sides of the boat inward. Uh, now I'll maybe do it one more time, so E, Z, move the sides of the boat down, click, press S, move the sides of the boat inward. Now once you get to the bottom of the boat, you still have a hole, you can fill that in by pressing the F key. Now to be honest my boat is a bit too deep to be a speedboat so what I'm going to do is press A to select all of the points and press S and then press Z and that allows me to squash it a little bit along the Z axis so that it looks like a boat which could travel at speed through the water. Okay now I've got the outline of my speedboat and I want to do the top of the boat now. So I'm going to press A twice to deselect everything on my boat and then I'm going to uh, click on a vertex with Alt held down and that will select all of the vertices along the top of the boat. Now I'm going to press E and Z and lift up the boat a little bit and click and then I'll press S to move the sides of the boat in. Now I can repeat that again, so I'm going to press E and Z, maybe move down the boat a little bit, press S to move that boat in. And then I'll press F to finish this uh, inside of the boat. Okay, so now we've got my boat shape and I'm going to come out of edit mode because I've finished making this shape for the boat. 
Now you might want to make the boat look smoother so you can click on object and then go to shade smooth in order to create a smooth shading for the outside of the boat. Now we're making a speedboat so the next step would be to add in a motor. Let's go to a mesh and choose a cube and I'll press S to scale the cube down a little bit and then I'll use the G key to move that cube along the Y axis and G and Z to move it down on the Z axis. That creates a motor that can go on the back of my boat. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer, I think. And then I think I probably want to have another cube or maybe a cylinder which goes into the water. So I'll make a thin cylinder here and then move it across and down a little bit. Okay, now guys, the best thing to do is to look at some pictures of real speedboats um, and try to make a, your model as accurate as you can be um, to what a real speedboat looks like. Um, I'm not saying that my model is super accurate here, uh, but at least that's the basic shape. Now, the more detail you add, um, the more accurate your boat is going to look. I think the next thing to add would be a windscreen around here, which you can actually create in a very similar way to the way that we did the bottom of the boat. But I'm going to leave that as an exercise to you. Um, I hope this gets you started.